Welcome to another edition of Colonel's Corner. On today's edition, we bring in Wilkes University softball head coach, Jackie Clayhold, to discuss the 2022 season with our season preview. Jackie, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mark. Awesome. We look forward to uh, the season getting started on uh, Monday. Games start down in South Carolina for the team um, for the Myrtle Beach tournament. What is the uh, excitement level for the team to get this season underway? Um, it's very excited. You know, we're trying to we have the opportunity that, you know, unfortunately, with the pandemic, we weren't able to have last year. And, um, you know, it's it's amazing how it's we have one class, um, our senior class that has actual experience going down and what is what a spring trip you know, means and what it, you know, how it sets the tone for the season. So it's going to be a lot of um, unknowns with the majority of our team, but we have a strong um, senior class that really is going to kind of, you know, take charge and, and lead the way and bring them into the fold and what the expectations are. So it's very exciting, very exciting. If you could just talk a little bit about that senior class and then some of the other returners as well um, and uh, what they'll bring to the table on the field and leadership wise this year. Yeah, um, we have a, a solid core returning class with that senior class. Um, and they have that, you know, not just that that spring trip experience where um, we talk about those games that we play a competitive schedule to, to kind of set the tone for the our competition, non-conference and conference-wise uh, when we return home. Um, but they also bring that MAC freedom experience um, against those those top teams and against, you know, honestly against all the freedom teams, because it is a very strong conference, very, um, you know, we, I don't, we didn't get a chance to play some of the teams last year with the way that the schedule was set up because of the limitations and everything. But, um, you know, we're very excited to dive into that. The girls, um, the girls are very, very excited to kind of finish um, some of the stuff that, you know, we weren't able to really, you know, put together as a whole last year because of how the season was shortened. Um, so these young ladies have really stepped up and um, kind of have taken the reins and, you know, displayed those leadership qualities that we expect them to display. So um, we have some returners as well, um, a strong sophomore class. Um, we have two junior returners um, whose last year was their first year in our program. And, you know, they had a little bit of experience as to what to, you know, a different transition going into this year, having a, a full slate of games and uh, heavy competition. So they really have been uh, diving into it, working on getting extra reps, working on um, getting prepared, not just for this trip, but for the whole season. Thanks, Jackie. And can you talk a little bit about the uh, first year players coming into the program and what they kind of can bring? It's a, it's a big roster overall, yeah. <laughs> and I believe there's six first-year student athletes on it. Um, what can they bring to the team as well? Um, they bring, you know, they bring a lot of depth, to be honest with you, because they are competing with those, um, with those returners. They are learning from those returners. Um, they're really trying to get acclimated to the college game. And to be honest with you, when we take the field on Monday, um, we could see a few of them out there. And we told them that um, everyone's going to get their, their opportunity. It, it really, it really is how you're going to respond to that, that opportunity. Um, they're in a very unique situation because they're able to um, learn a lot, you know, just by experiencing the college game and seeing how it's actually played um, through, through those returners with the coaching actually in games um, and then be able to have that great experience. And what we're looking at is we're not throwing a bunch of first years out there and saying, hey, take the field and um, good luck. You, you know, that key the last one in focus and concentrate on that. Um, you know, learning the, the the college game and how we, you know, we want this program to continue to thrive and um, go through the our conference schedule. So. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing those newcomers join the fold this season um, and see how it all plays out. Can yeah, you talk a little bit about the uh, schedule, Jackie, um, starting at the Fast Pitch Dreams um, Spring Classic mm -hmm. down in Myrtle Beach, eight games um, down there, uh, double headers, but against different teams. So a little yeah. unique scenario there. And then you get into the double headers 
um, for the rest of the season um, with the MAC Freedom Play and also some non-conference uh, doubleheaders sprinkled in as well. Yeah. Um, just talk about the schedule as a whole and then also about the strength of MAC Freedom. You did touch on it a little bit earlier too. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that going down to, to Myrtle Beach in this tournament really does set the set the tone for us because we do we're we're going to be playing against different teams from different area you know geographic areas in the country um different conferences you know we're playing teams from the you know the Penn State you know the Pennsylvania State uh conference we're playing teams from um the NJAC we're playing uh, a team from down in South in uh, North Carolina actually so you're getting a, a full range of um, different teams at different levels and who already have games that have already been played. Um, so we're really going to be, you know, challenged in this tournament. And I'm, I'm very excited about that. And we're hoping the, you know, the girls are excited. We're trying to get them to, you know, understand that, um, you know, what we're trusting in the process and what we're doing. And we might take, we might take our lumps there and there, but, um, you know, full on out, we're, we're hoping to come out of this tournament with a, a stronger sense of, Hey, this is, you know, we're going to be preparing for that strong non-conference and conference schedule that we have moving forward in this, in the season. Um, and with that being said, we, we have, we start off with right when we get back with to sales and we haven't played to sales, you know, my, this is my third year. <laughs> I've never unfortunately played against to sales and to sales is always, you know, constantly a strong, um, competitive, you know, member of the, the Mac freedom. So when you start, you start off that way, and then you go to a non-conference game against Keystone, um, on a Wednesday, and then you follow it up with Arcadia, um, the following Saturday, you know, you're, you you really have to, you know, you're pushing to the grind. You're really putting, um, players in positions, hopefully that they are responding to and that they're able to step up to the plate. And to be honest with you, um, going through this third preseason here, I'm very, confident we have those players in place and then those players you know with a lot of depth behind them um, that are able to step up with their opportunity and really push us across that finish line when it comes to making a postseason run. Great well we look forward to seeing the team make that postseason run this season yeah. Jackie yeah. Um, and getting things started on Monday down in Myrtle Beach against Cairn University at 9.30 a.m. and then Penn State Mount Alto at 1.30 for the first games of the season. And then uh, six more games down there. Um, and then, like you said, returning for DeSales on um, the first game back here, um, an away game, and then get some games at the Ralston Athletic Complex, yeah. Jackie. Yeah, that's what we're excited about. We have, you know, this season is going to be uh, exciting because we have, you know, we have quite a few home games this year, which is, you know, which is great. Um, we get to, you know, have have our fans out this year to really support us. Parents were able to um, be there a little bit at the end of last year with the restrictions and everything. But, you know, everything, you know, happens for a reason. And we're we're in a real solid place right now where we, you know, we're just excited to be on the field and compete and finish. Well, it's University softball team set to begin their season on Monday. Jackie, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks, Mark.